Hi everyone and welcome to video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add Marquee to your Shopify store. I've already installed FabMarquee scrolling text application. Start the, to start the installation, I need to go to installation tab. Here it is, it's selected. The very first step is to activate the widget. To do that, simply click on this button, activate widget. After clicking on activate widget button, you'll be redirected to the theme editor. This tab, App Embeds, will be automatically selected. Here you need to make sure that this toggle is switched on and the widget is activated. Make sure it's switched on, click on the save button if it's active here in the top right corner. And after that, you can go back to your installation tab here. Second way to do this is to click here, online store, choose themes here and click on customize button. You'll be redirected to your theme editor. You need to select app embeds and you'll see your toggle here. Make sure it's switched on, save changes. After that, you're gonna go back to your Shopify application. Now I want to add my marquee to my Shopify store. I've already activated the widget. After that, I can start adding my marquee to my Shopify store. I have three options here, custom placement. If this option is selected, you can pick any place on the page where you want your marquee to be displayed. There is an option top of bar. If this option is selected, your marquee will appear on top of the page and will push all other content down. If this option top bar stick is selected, you'll have your marquee on top of the page, all content will be pushed down and additionally, the, your marquee will be sticky. On scroll, it will be always visible on your page. I want to go with a custom placement, so this option is selected. This works for me. I have my marquee selected here, demo 4. Here is the preview. And now I need to go to installation. Click this button, go to installation. You'll be redirected to the theme editor, but to a different tab this time, to the tab sections here. You need to scroll to the very bottom of the page. You need to, to click add section. Here you need to choose apps. You need to select application, fab customer key. After that, your marquee will be added. Here it is. I have here some side margins I don't want to appear. So you need to select this section and uncheck this box. After that, your marquee will become full width. Here it is. Now I want to change the position of marquee. To do that, you simply need to drag and drop this section and it will change it, its position on the page. I'm currently working with the home page, but you select, can select any other page here. Let's go back to our application. Now I want to add a second marquee. To do that, I need to select a different marquee here. Let's select a demo two. Here is the preview. And to add this marquee, so in order to add a marquee that is not a default one, not the one that was automatically selected here, you need to pick it from the list. You need to copy the code, click this button, copy code, go back to your, to your theme, click add section, select application, and you'll see that the default marquee will be added here to, to change this one to the one you want. In my case, it's this one, demo two. You need to update this code. Simply remove this code and paste, paste the code you've copied. Here it is. Give it a, a couple of seconds and it will be updated. Here it is. After that, I want to remove those side margins by, by unchecking this box and that's it. After that, I just need to save changes and my marquee will appear on my store. In order to remove edit marquee, simply click this button remove and it will be removed. That's it. Pretty simple. Let me know if you have any questions left and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.